Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am doing my Boxy Lux unboxing. Uh, we are definitely going to try on some of these products. I have, oop, I have opened this already, but I just kind of wanted to show you what I got. So first off, the card is the card uh, was whimsy. I don't think I have the card anymore, so figure that out. <laughs> anyway, first product I was super excited about is a Cosmetics Clean Clinical Luxurious. Now this is a face and body massage beauty roller. Now I know this retailed for $69 and I got mine in the beautiful purple color and I was super super excited about it. So it is just a face roller. And you just roll your skin. Helps bring blood circulation to the surface to help regenerate the skin. And you can use it anywhere. <laughs> At least that's what it says. Anyway, the geranium stone, the beauty roller is encrusted with 24 massaging stones containing geranium powder tightening and for tightening and energizing the skin. Simply roll a unique hexagon roller all over skin to leave it feeling energized and enhanced. Connecting bar and roller, that's what this is, and then handle easy to hold and roll, massage your body, face, whatever, whenever you want. That's what it says on the little pamphlet piece that came, came with it. By far this was the item out of the box that I was most excited about. Next is a facial spray. This is a power up dual phase setting mist. Helps to set makeup, regenerate, sorry, energize and rejuvenate the skin. Uh, filters away dull, tired and stressed out complex. Use under makeup to prep skin, over makeup to set your look and throughout the day to refresh your skin. So this is from Minowin Beauty Projects. I don't know. It looks like it has an oil in it. And from the smell of it, I'm going to guess it's a lime essential oil is my guess. But let's see. Yes, yeah. lime oil is in the ingredients. So you can smell it for sure. So we're just going to kind of give it a mist on our face. The mister is not the best. For sure. But smells beautiful. Ooh. And it absorbs nice and fast. So that's nice. Next is one of our big ticket items, which is the Fairy Tale Storybooks Cosmetics. And this is Little Briar Rose. And I'm pretty sure everybody got the same one. Ooh, same one. Which is this one here. So we will try this on after we go through everything. I think this was like 39. I'm not totally sure. Again, don't quote me on that because I cannot find the actual pamphlet. So we got to pick, I'm pretty sure, between this and the LMS oil. And I picked this. This is a Saturday Skin Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. And I have so many oils, I thought I would get myself a new cream. I will say though this brand is beautiful like the packaging is lovely but it looks cheap. Again that's my opinion. So let's open it up and give it a try. It's a very thin uh, gel like product as it does stay. State. Sorry. We will Take some and put it on our face. Very lightweight, very nice. I do like that. Sorry, my face gets a little red when I rub it. <clears throat> Next product, which I won't be trying out, is a fresh soy face cleanser. Um, it's a full size, retails for some ridiculous amount of money. But I do have cleansers already open and started in my shower. So I will give this a try when I can get around to it. It, um, for all skin types and rich in amino acids, gently cleanses face and eyes. So 
I will try it. Another product I'm pretty sure everybody got was the Daily Concepts um, Daily Hair Wrap Towel for Quick, Dry, and Smoothing Experience. I got the black one. I've seen people get pink and purple and a few other colors, but I got the black one, which I'm, I'm not mad about. I do like just like black items in general. So, and it's just a turpy towel, if you remember those, basically. Um, okay, so I got the Too Faced Rich and Dazzling High Shine Sparkle Lip Gloss, and mine is in Pretty Penny. The packaging is absolutely beautiful. The color and the amount of glitter in this is a whole nother story, so I don't know when I would use it, but it is it is pretty, and it smells nice. So we got that. I got the Kat Von D Dagger Tattoo Liner Waterproof Liquid Liner. And this again full size and it has a crazy sharp line like liner tip so I'm excited to try that out hopefully it eventually comes off my face but there's that and last product in the box is the Ciate London marbled light illuminating blusher in burnt mine is in burnt the packaging is very pretty and the color is very pretty so I am pretty excited about that I'm going to move you in closer and we are going to try on the four beauty products that came in here 